She's on a jump right there. Isn't that cool? We could keep this here because it looks like a jump. It is a jump. All right, come on, Leo. Let's unbox this thing. Yeah. I got the handy dandy knife. Let's see what card it is. I'm going to open this and is. we're going to show you what this thing is. I well, by the title, you'll probably already know, so. Anyway. I want to see what it is. Can I open the box? Yeah, let me go ahead. Hold on. Cut it. Safety first. Cut away from you. Safety first. Put this I up. Cut my leg off. Yeah, right. You I think it's thing. upside down. Let's sure is. I have to take this tape off, I think. Alright, it's upside down. Watch out, kid. Okay. I don't know why I did it. Open it the wrong way. I opened it upside down. Alright, guys, here it goes. have a table over here. What? You actually bought that? Can I please have that? This, Daddy? This is my basher. Daddy, please can I have we it? We just bought a Arma Vortex 4x4 3S. This is a uh, pretty new. It came out a couple weeks ago from Arma. It advertised as 60 plus miles per hour with the uh, stock setup. So that's pretty cool. Runs Daddy. 3S or 2S and it's a ready to run kit. Daddy, I want that. You got any money? Yeah. I can give you my whole wallet. Anyway. All right, guys. Here's the side of the box. Pretty cool. Let me get the screen flipped up, make sure we're all in frame here. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Oh, I hit your head. Sorry. There's the side. If you want to check it out, you can pause it. Daddy, I'll give you my whole wallet for this. Your whole wallet? Yeah, please, can I have And it? I'll show you the color I got as soon as we open the box. There's three options here. And that's on this side. You can see the three colors. What, op what option did you get, Daddy? All right. Now you can tell. The red dot's the one I got. Let's see if Lily can figure it out. This one. Oh, that's a pretty one. It's pretty cool. It comes in a red, white, and bluish, light blue color. It's and then purple. the color I got, which is the purple and pink and white, and then it comes in a like a lime green, blue, and white livery. I think other than that, they're all pretty much the same. Daddy, can I have the purple? And the box, the bottom of the box is just white. And then here's some more stuff right here, showing you the details. Uh, overhead shot, corner shot, in the oh, front one more time. Daddy, can I please have it? No, ma'am. You can drive it, maybe. It's gonna be super duper fast. But anyway, guys. Uh, one of my buddies at the racetrack, his name's Corey. He works at King Cobra over in Pensacola. So if you're in the southeast, you need to go to King Cobra and check it out. They are, it's a, it's like a um, commercial style metal building with three or four rooms. And each room is filled to the ceiling with uh, RC cars. So if you like RC cars, you'll be in RC heaven pretty much. Yeah. And uh, I mean, anything you want, they've got it in stock from bashers to race cars mainly off-road there's some on-road stuff uh, motor speed control about anything it's all in there and it's they pretty much stock whatever you'll need also they have uh, a lot of stuff online so if you go to kingcobra.com you'll be able to check out their inventory and what they can ship to you so if, if you do live too far away but I highly recommend it their prices I mean I know a lot of people go on eBay and buy stuff but their prices if not cheaper are same as eBay so I mean might as well <clears throat> you might as well represent somebody local all right guys we're gonna open this oh, really okay i wanna do the the so we're doing it on the ground from the off-road rally track in the box do that. all right wow i really wow want let's show them how it comes shipped this is shipped straight from the uh factory there it comes packaged pretty good so we'll pop the car out first. Let's see. Got this cardboard divider. And boom. Really it's got cellophane on the uh on the body. Four wheel drive, 3S. I'll let Lily take this cellophane off. First, let's get the radio out of the way and I'll show you that first. So, I think it comes with a spectrum setup, if I remember right. So this box contains it looks like we've got some spare parts we've got a uh like a, 
What is that? Oh, we got a different pinion. So I don't, I'm not, hold on. We'll show that on camera. We got a 20 tooth here, so I'm not sure what's on it. We'll find that out later. Uh, we've got some spacers for the, uh, the, the dampers. It does come with oil filled dampers, but they're plastic bodied and they're, they're not uh, fully adjustable. You know, you've got to use these little uh, sleeves, I guess that's what they're called. Anyway, you get that and your instruction manual in this book, I mean in this bag. And the radio. Yes, it's a Spectrum. I'm not sure of the model. DX3, so it's just a base DX3. Here you go, if you want to check it out, you can pause it. Nice size wheel. It does have a um, foam tire for grip. And there's the top of the radio. And it looks like you're gonna need four double A's to get going. So don't forget, it is ready to run, but you have to provide the, your own batteries. All right, now that the radio is out of the way, we're gonna let Lily do some satisfying cellophane. So now for the cinematic cellophane peel off. All right, guys, that was the cellophane pill off. So this thing is pretty much set up right out of the box and it's ready to go besides the battery and your radio battery. I'm just and this color is awesome, check it out. And this thing is ready to go for bashing. As Corey pointed out, they put some uh, screws, little details like this, which saves your rear um, spoiler, rear wing, whatever you want to call it, from, uh, getting tore up when you flip over and then you've got some rails up top roof rails and you've got some really handy dandy rubber bands that hold your body clips on so we're gonna pull these out let's see gotta get a good grip on it that's really cool man all stays on the body body feels nice and sturdy Can I drive it? I've got to charge the battery that's another thing we're gonna try to do a first run at the end of the video show these people Look, read that. Don't bash. Wait. <laughs> Don't just bash. Blast. Daddy, can I please Says that it? on the back, too. Daddy. Can I at least drive it? I said you could drive it. Alright, guys. Here it is. Check it out. Uh, for the techie stuff, I'm not certain. I know it's a brushless setup with a Spectrum uh, speed controller. It's a 32 kV brushless motor with a uh, Arma. It's got some um, cooling fans and a heat sink on it, so that's pretty cool. This is a cool little trick Corey was showing me. You can change it from a four-wheel drive to a two-wheel drive, just like that. Bam, bam. So you pull that out. I don't think it's for that. I think it's for maintenance, but who knows? Man, this thing's got a lot of stuff. But anyway, this is just an unboxing, so I'm not going into detail of the techie stuff. It's even got a little license plate on the back there. Hey, Daddy. Can we at least? It's got drive? rubber wheels on your wheelie bar. Nice tires. Like I said, oil filled dampers. I know. By they the feel way. pretty good. I'll check them out later and, and see if. Uh, See if they've got enough oil and stuff in them. And by the way, that plug, I forgot the name of it. And by the way, my car looks kind of like it, but smaller. Yeah, Lily's E Revo. And mini, it is really small. Mini though. E Revo. It is really fast, though. It's got these tall side walls right here. So that's pretty neat. Daddy, can we get my RC car? Good out? for bashing. We got to charge your battery. Okay. Uh, yeah. Like I said, for some details, you might want to go somewhere else because this, I'm not a techie person. I buy stuff, use it, and break it. But here is the setup. So if you're looking for one of these things, this just gives you an idea of what it looks like and how it is shipped. And you have a front license plate. 
so that's it guys that is the whole thing we'll do a drop test right here passed awesome so that's it guys it's totally unboxed it's right there now i've just got to go charge the battery i ended up buying a uh, 5000 milliamp three cell uh i think dynamite battery um and yeah that's it i should have bought the plug to plug it into my charger but we'll deal with that later uh that's it all right, guys, come on, Lily. Let's tell them thanks for watching. Put that drink down. There's Lily. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we're going to do a first run with this thing and show you what it's all about. I got to get the battery in it and get it charged, and we're going to show you the car ripping on this track. And we're going to get mine too. It's, I'm going to show you how fast it got. How was it? Was so anyway, stay tuned. We'll be doing some videos with this thing. I got a rally car. We got some off-road stuff. And then we'll get back to the carpet racing and show you some of the, the races that we have coming up. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Isn't that bad? 